teaching, coaching, and broadcasting the sport from the tip of a pen. The left goes to the right, the right goes to the left. To further his vision of sharing. So when coach says, Play like hell when I tell you to. What's going on out there, YouTube? What's up, Team Hollywood? And what's up, my Madden 25 fans? It's your man, Hollywood Sports. If you are new to my channel, thank you for clicking on my video and welcome to Hollywood Sports. Guys, we're out here with our franchise mode, the Washington Commanders, going up against the New Orleans Saints in New Orleans. Let's get it. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go. And just so you know, guys, we're also testing sliders right now. It's week 15 of the National Football League. And we've got so if you're looking for a good all-pro slider set, be a busy this is the place you want to come back to, man, because I'm going to roll it out. So hit that subscribe button right so you'll be around when I roll the slider set out. Hit that notification bell, it's too. It's a building that's meant so much to the city of New Orleans and all of its residents over the years. And our coverage of the, the NFL Caesar's has brought Superdome. us to it. Caesars Superdome. Joined by a former NFL quarterback <coughs> off in the booth, Mr. Brock Heward. I'm Kate Scott. And Brock... Uh, you can brag if you'd like to because I know you had quite the big arm. In Kate the Scott and Brock Hewitt. And the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple of quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today because the moment they get greedy in coverage or get too aggressive in the pocket, either of these quarterbacks can drop a dime, drop a deep throw right mm -hmm. over them for big yardage and maybe six points too. Here's Brandon McManus to get this one going. And here we go from New Orleans. That's going to be taken in at the eight. Ooh, and what a hit. Down. The offense Ooh, that's boom the tech. So the commander's offense headed out for their opening drive. And leading them out, the reigning Heisman Trophy winner, the number two pick in the NFL draft out of LSU, Jaden Daniels. As you take the field coming off of a real late season bye, you just want to maximize what last week was all about. Making sure that physically, mentally, emotionally, you're recharged so you can go attack the final stretch of this season. They'll run here on first down. Ooh, that didn't work. Over that reverse. He's tracked down behind the line. Can I have a moment, Kate? Just a moment to marvel at how well they reacted to that play on defense. They were all over from the start, getting behind the line to blow up the play. Then how many times do we see his highlight reel touchdowns going the other way? Second and 15. Able to find Dawson here. Good catch, Dawson. Good catch, boy. The 35 yard line as they reel him in. You know, I'm really not sure. Hold well, on, guys. I need to fix the depth chart because I don't really f finish games um, because while I'm testing my sliders. So let's go to the wide receivers. Actually, let's go to the corners first. Yeah, I don't want Forbes there. And let's switch. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I would rather have actually well he got the speed Davis he's got 92 speed 94 we're gonna do this let's go to wide receiver we don't want Dawson in the number two slot nope uh, we want him in the number two slot and we got uh, Brown Crowder uh, there we go intentionally brave play to challenge double coverage or just simply not seeing the two defenders either way what a tremendous throw and catch <clears throat> that earns some momentum. They always blitzing on third down. We gotta get rid of the football. Throwing now, third and two. Complete beyond the marker. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. He manages a gain of eight there. 
And that'll be good for a Washington first. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. We got one, two, three, four. Man, almost everybody should be blocking on this play. Quick toss, head and left. And he's out of bounds. Looks like right at the midfield strike. Call it seven yards, and now they'll have second down and three. I'm not kidding you, Kate. A run of that length at the NFL level, honestly, is the equivalent of a run of 15-plus at the high school level. It's hard in the run game to make yards, and they just got a very successful one. Running for the marker on second. And he's tackled for a short game. Call it no game, maybe one at best on that play. That leaves him with third and two. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal game, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. Here he is to throw on third and two. And the Saints came marching home, and they dropped him. And the defense comes through, and that's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. The commander is ready for the punt. He's got it at the 12. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. So now we'll get a look at the other offense as the Saints take the field. Leading them out in year 11. He's played 15 or more games every season in the league. A real Iron Man, Derek Carr. A win is a win for him. Whether he goes for 400 yards and five touchdowns, Kate, or maybe he just finds the end zone once, like last week. And being the team first guy he is, he'd be more than happy to end the game with just one touchdown pass, or maybe even no touchdown passes, so long as they get the win in the end. Oh! His first target doesn't lead to his first catch. And we'll see what they do here on second down. Looking to throw, Carr. Nowhere to go with the football, nowhere. Let's go. And that pushes him back, third down coming up. Pretty clear here by these two play calls. The offense, they wanted to attack this secondary in the passing game. But this defense, well, they more than respond. It's got them in great shape to make a stand right here on third down and finish off a brisk three and out to begin the game. Here he is on third and long. Wilson's got it. And he'll get this up to the 18-yard line. Good defense, good defense, good stop. You know, I, I like go. the completion. You never turn down a completion. That's just not the right throw to make in that spot to move the chains. Here's Riley Dixon on now for the punt on fourth down. And I imagine they were hoping they wouldn't need to bring him out so soon into this game. Come on, guys, block. Somebody block somebody. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. The commanders and running back Austin Eckler. Austin Eckler is number two in the NFL. He can see he's done and his running back receiving yards. Sitting second right awesome. now in the league in rushing touchdowns. <laughs> commanders start down in a good spot this drive as they get set. First and ten. Shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. Good block by the uh, left by the uh, left guard. Great block by the now. left guard. They're gonna give him the opposing 49. 16 yards on the play, and the commanders will have a first. That's pretty good right there. Now, you don't always expect a sizable game when you run it on first down, you just want some yards to set up an easier second down play. But they will take that execution every time. Running with Eckler again. And he'll scurry forward for a pickup of three. 
You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. Staying with Eckler. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. Four yards on the pickup, and that's going to leave him with third and three. You know, okay, these are some of the little hidden plays in a game. It right? doesn't look like a whole lot on the stat sheet, but A, it gets a good yardage. B, it sets up your play action. And C, most importantly, keeps that defense guessing. Oh, giving it to the wide receiver on third and short. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. You know, third down and short, man. You know they're going to play the box and try to stop the first down. Couple of zeros we do it in the round, right baby. Now. Back to the Superdome of Caesar in just a bit. Time now for the second quarter. Commanders in possession. They're looking at yet another first and ten on this drive. Running right, it's Eckler. And he's only going to get two or three yards on that one. That's the kind of run play that feels like tug of war at field day. <laughs> and you're just not moving the other side. Just a short run. Neither side feels particularly good about it. And we'll move to the next. Another carry for it. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. A couple yards on the run. It's third and six now. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. <clears throat> but too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs, and gets the better defenses in this league. Let's go, baby. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. We came to play, baby. We came to play. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. They'll try and punch it in. And he's going to take it in for the Washington touchdown. The Commanders get the game's first points here in the second. It's an Austin Eckler touchdown. Well, he found himself some space to work, and from there, all athleticism as he Great blocking on the outside, baby. Great block. You run the ball down in the red zone, Kate. Okay? You're not always thinking touchdowns, right? Space Way to run that so offense, Daniels. But you, you're exactly right. His athleticism, his explosion, his speed, it puts six on the board for the offense. That one right down the middle. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. The commander's kickoff unit out and ready as they send this away. Return coming from the six. And this drive will start inside the 25. The Saints and Chris Olave ready to take over once Chris again. Chris Olave is number two. And he's been one of the central Reception leader in the NFL. Cooper Cut, right Justin Jefferson, Jordan NFL Addison. Wow, receptions. those are great receivers, man. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Now they send their back in motion right. Here's Carr. Got his target. It's Hill. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. Got him. Oh, oh, good move. Get him. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a 
you set it down. So critical, Kate, on those receiver screens to get that ball out with great precision. You don't want that receiver thinking about anything but navigating the blocks in front of him. That's well done by everybody. First and ten, ball set up at the 48. More Call defense. We'll play some D, baby. Oh, yes. Way to be there. Way to be there, of course. That's what a safety does, baby. That's what a safety does. I'm just going to say, maybe not the guy you want to pick on in coverage on this particular series. Gets a hand on that throw and knocks it away the next time. Well, he could get two hands on it and take it the other way. Oh, of course, you should have had an interception, baby. Come on. Come on. He'll move the sticks after ripping off a Play the ball. Hands. Play the ball. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. Car. That's complete to Wilson. Kate, when Bill Walsh was implementing the drag route with the 49ers in the 80s, it sounded the same way as it did with Mike Holmgren and me with the Seahawks in the 2000s versus man on a drag route run away. You see zone coverage, settle down, give your quarterback his numbers, and you can find a completion just like that. And this one stopped at the three-yard line. It's a double-digit game. Come on, defense. Let's get a goal line stance going. These running backs love getting into the open field, and the best of them, they're not even looking at the man right in front of them. They're looking at that next level to get a chunk run like that. Car setting the throw. Good defense. Good defense, Davis. Oh, and he got the touchdown. The Saints start to fight back for their first points of this game. Well, good luck stopping the big fella that close to the goal line, Brock. I've always thought that the distance right there is just made for tight ends to score touchdowns. Just the sport that you also love to cover in basketball. It's all about matchups. You get near the red zone and into the end zone, matchups become critical. And when you got a dude like this that's a mismatch maker, you feed him. Brandon McManus on for the PAT. That one splits the uprights. And we're all tied up. Now is McManus to kick this away. Return coming from the six. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. Ready. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Daniels now. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. First time this game they've looked to him. And now it's second down. As a defense, you got to see the pass. You got to time up your hit and you got to jar that ball loose. Not a lot of offensive players are hanging on to that one through a well placed hit. Motioning one of the tight ends. Second and ten now. He finds the open man there. Complete. Let's do it. Let's do it, baby. Let's do it. Let's do it. The commander. Scary. Terry. It's in the lead. Terry McLaurin with the touchdown. So sensational work by the skill man there, Brock. Anytime you can make your quarterback look that uh -huh. good. Yeah, y'all playing man it. coverage. Keep That's playing man coverage. No and, and, and leaving that, that corner side, on the island by itself with you get that Terry McLaurin. He's going to beat him every time. Story. You can't yeah, give cover up one. Yards after catch. Now they'll try the point after. And the kick is good. The 
The Commander's kickoff unit out and ready as they send this away. That's going to be taken in at the 8. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. You got a chance to let the Madden Ratings Hotline know just what you're thinking. Give them a call, 1-844-MADDEN-1, and make your case for who should get a boost. So a pass caught by his tight end. Good tackle, baby. And Good not tackle. Much doing. He stopped quickly. Now the Saints hustling people forward. They need to get set. Rifles it, and it's caught. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. The Saints calling for a timeout. So they're first. First and 10 from the 41. Car to the air now. Get him, come on. Put some heat on this deep ball. Left side. Good defense. Good defense, baby. It's it's Davis. See, if we had left Emmanuel Forbes in there, that would have been... He, he would have caught that ball over Emmanuel Forbes. So second down coming up. Guarantee it. <clears throat> They'll throw it again. Get him. Get him. Cook connect right side. It's incomplete. Tried getting it to Chris Olave. So now it's going to be third and long. Throwing his car. Here comes the wide receiver screen. And the tackle's made just beyond midfield at the 48. We have a timeout here. Second one taken by New Orleans. CPU is running First a lot of different plays, man. The 48. Still sticking with the passing game. Get him, get him. Let's go. Ooh, nowhere to go with the football. Let's go. The Saints call their third and final timeout. And that's all they've got for what little remains of this half. Kate, I've seen a, a one-step drop. I've seen a three, a five, a seven. Some of the we boots and play play we can't get more play. depth. But a 20-step drop? <laughs> that's not going to cut it. Except for this defense, it just adds a whole bunch of negative yards to that play. He puts some juice on a deep throw down the middle. It arrived as the ball did to break things up. So they're left facing third and long. We're playing good defense, baby. Let's go. Don't try and pick this up on the ground. <laughs> and the defense is all Yeah, yeah, I'll let the clock run out, baby. Let it run out. I know from the position of the quarterback, Kate, sometimes you get that D-line penetration. The ooh, running back, ooh, ooh. And you send him right Let's into go. the teeth of a buzzsaw. You can feel it from the jump, and that call from the defense, well, it came at the perfect <clears> time. Here comes the Saints punting unit. Jameis <coughs> Crowder back deep for the Commanders. His first effort when 47 yards. Brock looks to have a little more into this one. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. Now that brings us to the midway point of this one. The Commanders enjoying a nice little lead here on the road. Now we'll send you east to our studios in Orlando. That's where Jonathan Coachman is waiting to bring you the EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, what you got for us? All right, Kate, we'll get back to you and Brock in a bit. For now, plenty of early action in the 1 o'clock Eastern window to get you caught up on. So let's get to it. We'll begin up north at MetLife Stadium over in New Jersey. And it's the Ravens out in front as that game moves towards halftime. Big wow, the Derrick Ravens are 11-2. and two. With a couple of touchdown runs. Derrick Henry got two receptions from for 40 yards. They didn't Tennessee have his rush yards in there. the Titans there. at home in Nashville. And they've got the lead in their ball game over the visiting Cincinnati Bengals. Calvin Ridley, a touchdown reception. Lastly, let's get you to Charlotte, North Carolina. Check on the Panthers at home at Bank of America Stadium. And that Ooh, game come on, guys. Square. You got to beat Dallas. They come on, on now. Come on, Cowboys. Panthers. It was Austin Eckler who was the star of that first half. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. These two teams making their final adjustments for the second half ahead. It's time to get back at it. For the call, let's rejoin Kate the Scott kick off and Rock Hewer. And ready as they send this away. 
His return stuck to the five. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. This offense headed back to the field, led by their receiver. And you can see he's in chase mode, trying his best to catch the league leader in receiving. Right now, sitting in second place. They're out and set, first and ten. Come on, defense. Let's pick where we left off at, baby. Running behind center with Camara. Yeah, there we he go. Gets a few on the plunge forward. They're trying to get Camara going. Because there's a whole lot of traffic up the middle right there. <laughs> he ran right into some gridlock, and he could only manage a few yards at most. Here's second and seven. Gets this one to Shaheed. And he's going to get this up close to the 40 before going out. That's a pickup of nine. And the Saints are going to have a first down. Running right, it's Camara. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. It's a four-yard pickup, and that's going to bring up second and six. Come on, defense. Hang in there, baby. From the 43. He's got Shaheen. And they're going to hold him down just shy of the 40. It's a great pickup. 16 yards, and now they've got first down. It's not just imperative that a quarterback knows me in the zone. Same thing for a receiver, especially on a drag route. When he sees zone coverage like that, just settle down, find the soft spot, and give your quarterback a chance. He's got it room to Good pursuit. Good pursuit. And they'll Let's stand go. him up and sit him down at the line. Jeremy Chin. And I'm going to call that, even though it looks like nothing on the stat sheet, a win-win for both sides. Defense. The CPU well, is running a good variety right of plays, man. I like no that. Gain. The offense, well, they just remind that defense. You not only got to cover us vertically, but we're going to stretch you horizontally as well. Third and long for him here. Got him. Come on, get him. Ooh, he, man, he got rid of that quick. He avoided the sack. And this is why scouts talk about a player's closing speed, Kate. It's still going to be a long field goal. Pressure, oh, they punting. They ball. punting. Good job. Takes a player who Good could job, close defense. quickly to get to him before it's released. And that sure altered the throw. Hunter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. And that kick a little too well struck. He drives it into the end zone for a touchback. And I think by this point, we can all agree, Brock, that he is not going to be stopped until the clock stops at the end of this game. He just continues to make catches count in this second half. drive will start out with a first and ten. Throwing now, Daniels. Fires down the middle, and it is caught. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stops. It's enough for a first down. Nice find by the rookie quarterback from LSU. This entire play, Kate, depends on how well he could separate from his man. You get man-to-man -man coverage, it's really about two things. Separation and trust. Because QBs want to throw it before he breaks. That's the trust. And then they got to believe that that separation can create the big play down the field. On first down, they'll run. He breaks a tackle, and they bring him down, but there's a flag on the field. Come on, Zach Gertz. Come on, baby. Well, partner, they say there's holding on every play. You just got to look for it, right? Uh, that time, though, we did not have to look too hard. And holding penalty is going to make Cost first down. 10 first. yards He's right tough. there. They're 20 from the marker to start things out.
Daniels back to throw. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. See the pass, time up your hit, and jar that ball loose. Not a lot of players are hanging on through a well-placed hit like that one. Here we go, second and very long. It's taken in by Eckler. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. I know that completion doesn't move the chains, but I love it nonetheless. You make sure that defense is aware of every eligible player going out. And this time it was out of the backfield with the running back that shows he's adept at catching it as well. Throw on third down. That pass caught by Dotson. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy in midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. You can earn your money in the NFL in all sorts of different ways, but defensively, in a league where you're just not hitting as much in training camp, you're not tackling as much as they got to in the old days, and you can make a play in the open field and keep them short like that. Give me I that bounce. Give me that bounce backwards. I'm putting a backward spin on it. That's not working either. The New Orleans offense set to go now. They struggled to produce on that last series, but better results ahead as they take possession here. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Motion in left is their running back. Here's Carr. Good defense, man. Good defense. Let's go, Jeremy Chin. Well, Kate, that wasn't a fast enough break for the interception, but it was good enough and a good enough break to break up. We're balling, baby. The defense is balling right now. They'll throw on second and ten. Got a man. Ooh, what a hit. What a hit by Bobby Wagner. Didn't get much time Let's to secure go. it as he takes a shot. Good job to even hang on through that catch there. <clears throat> Third and four coming up now. <sighs> now Let's he'll keep that crowd quiet. Fake. He puts some air under a deep throw to the left. Good defense. Good, good, good defense, Davis. Yeah. That Emmanuel Forth would have gave up a touchdown. Good job, Davis. A bit late breaking towards the ball, but still just enough Great to awareness. Put finger on it and knock it away. Good play They'll recognition. Send out the punting unit. And he sends this away. Definitely his best kick of the game thus far. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. The Commanders and this running back headed back out for a new series. They didn't add to their lead last time out, so they punched it away, but still ahead and able to add to it here. First and ten now from the 30. Back to throw. Here's Daniels. No hesitation, and that one's caught. Echo's running hard, man. He is not going down Year with the first year, contact. The best offenses are multifaceted. <laughs> it's not just the receivers or the tight ends that can make plays through the air. When you get running backs that can attack the middle of the field like that, man, is it difficult on the defense. Nothing there left side as it ends up incomplete. I think if you look up in phase in the defensive encyclopedia, that is a picture-perfect form of it. He was all over him in coverage, really forcing the incompletion. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Throwing now from the gun. It's going to be an incomplete pass <laughs> up the to the right. Can't cover it much better than that really well-covered feed on that play. There just simply was not a window for him to sneak that throw in. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. And he'll go down the Saints at the play. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. 
And that boot will instead be what starts our fourth quarter. We're taking we a sack. I'm not throwing an interception. It's the commander's ball. A chance at a win if they can hang on to their lead through the fourth. <clears throat> Punt team on the field. It'll be Tress Way doing the honors. He fields it at the 18. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. And there's only one team satisfied with their spot in the playoffs right now, and that's the one currently at the top. A lot of time left for everybody else to jostle for better position or simply for one of the seven spots available. Carr back to throw. And he's just going to get rid of this one. Smart move there. When you saw the field, it's going to be second down. We're last in the league in takeaways. It's because we only play five minutes, that's why. The gun. They'll give it to him inside. Good pursuit. Good they pursuit. After a solid gain we are locking up on. Alvin Kamara. There's five on that play. They need five more now on third down. Looking to throw. Carr. Complete beyond the marker. And they'll take him down at the 43 yard line. It's a 13 yard play, and that's enough for the first. You know, they call that the money down for a reason because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. Throwing from the gun. Taken in by Shaheen. Ooh. And they push this down to the opposing 47-yard line. Yeah, these end cuts maybe aren't the hardest throws from a degree of difficulty, Kate, but it does take some courage as a quarterback to throw into congested spaces, but it can pay big dividends. Hand off on second and short. And he's good caught good behind good the good line good for a loss. Kate, it's amazing how fast these guys are on the field and how fast your fortunes can turn. Second and short run, you're feeling good about yourself. But with a negative play, well, now comes a critical third down. Third and a lone yard coming up. He's back to throw. This is reeled in by Camara. A solid gain there. Gets him across the 45 before he goes out. It's a gain of four. And that's good for a New Orleans First More defense. Down. We got to keep him out in the end zone. Come on. Trying to throw here out of the gun. Oh, he put everything he had Good in defense. Let's go. Benjamin St. Jude, good defense, boy. To tip it away, and that makes it second down. Try getting it to Chris Olave. He's our best and corner. Bring up second down. Look at that, boy. The offense is changing all counter plays, man. They're running everything right now. Car. Ooh, that would have been a pick. Good job, St. Jude. That would have been a pick this right one there. This intended for the running back. And things look tougher now with third and long. Looking to throw. Into the hands of Olave. And it's good yardage, but they tackle him short of the sticks. You've got to be cognizant of where the line to gain is. You can't run that route short, and you certainly can't throw it. No defense. We, get, we stop here, man. We got the game. We get a stop here, we win. First down. Desperation time on fourth down. Got him. Got him. Screenplay. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. And they don't get a desperately needed first down. They're gonna still trail after they turn it over on down. That's the rookie from Michigan, man. You go for it on fourth down. It's gotta be something from the I short list of plays name. you expect to work every time. If that one's on the short list, I think it's gotta be reevaluated. Something wasn't working on it, and it cost them the possession. Commanders starting out in a good spot this drive as they get set. First and ten. Go, 
Eckler running dead ahead. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. As a play caller kid, I would always be a little cautious of a first down draw. I like it better when that defense is anticipating pass when they were only anticipating getting the backfield and making that running back feel the pain. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. <sighs> back to the well again. And just gets back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing for him on that play as we've hit the two-minute warning. The Saints add a fifth defensive back here, third down. We got to set this up to play defense, guys. That's what we got to do. They give it to him again. And he's brought down for a loss. The defense calls a timeout, so that's their first. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. He's gotten it at the 21. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the offense ready to head back out onto the field. The Saints enjoying some good field position to start this drive off. First and 10 coming up. Looking to throw it. Ball going against the offense. So the refs get him for holding, and Let's that's going to back this offense up. Let's go, Double baby. The distance to go after that it's 10 yards. Ball. It's now first and 20. To throw. Olave with the catch. And he'll get it up near the 38 yard line before going. Let's go, defense. Come on. Working fast as the clock ticks towards zero. And the there we go. There we go. In. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. It's looking like a dreaded three and out offensively. But listen, if you can't keep your quarterback clean and upright, you're going to need some magic, big time magic, to convert on this third and long. We have a timeout here. Second one taken by New Orleans. And they'll take a moment to ponder what the call's going to be on third down. What now? It's a hard, hard, hard. Here he is to throw. Incomplete. Had the connection with some stone hands. Fourth and 12, baby. Let's go. Well covered on that play. <laughs> really not a large window for him to sneak that throw in. Offense still staying out after the incompletion. They're going to try on four. Throwing now. Got him. Let's go. To the 40 yard line before he stopped. And they don't get a desperately needed first down. They're going to still trail after they turn it over on down. Yeah, everybody on the defense played hey, well. I am all everybody. For aggression. You get four downs, go for it. But I do have to wonder here, Kate. After being denied once again, is there going to be a trust level on that sidelines to go for it the next time they get this shot? The commanders all set to regain possession. And this one just a formality till the clock runs out. It's only one timeout remaining to stop it. The Saints call their third and final timeout. That's all they had. So the offense free to start running the clock down now. <laughs> And they'll kneel it down. This is situational football at its best. There's still some time left to bleed off the clock. But the really important thing here is you've got to bleed every second of that clock that you can. Well, Brock, I think we're both thinking another kneel likely coming here on third down. Take a knee. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. 
What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot. And now you can enjoy the victory. And punter making his way out now. And he's going to do the honors for the fourth time today. Nice so win down here in New Orleans, Orleans baby. Beautiful win. And even getting skunked in that second half, Rock. The damage done in the first, enough to claim victory at the end. And of course, we'd be remiss if we didn't recognize that stellar defensive effort in the second half that made this win possible. So for Brock Heward, our incredible crew, everybody here at EA Sports, I'm Kate Scott signing off. We'll see you next time.